when I first started the learning programming, when I made the decision to become a developer and to explode my income, to be able to uh, travel and live anywhere in the world, I was completely overwhelmed with literally all the available information. Like even now, I think it's worse than when I first started, okay? Because I started like six, seven years ago or something like that. When I first started, there were like thousands of resources. And now there are even more resources. So how do you go from like this sea of information that you have over there that's that's literally stressing you out and it's making you wonder like, what can I do so I do not waste my time to the point where you can start writing code on your own, be confident in your abilities and then uh, getting your ass in hired. How do you do that? Well, dude, as much as I don't want to promote my shit, I'm gonna tell you, you need a mentor. Tell you why you need that and then you can decide if I should be your mentor or uh, I'm gonna sell you on this idea that you need a mentor and then you'll find someone that can mentor you and help you out, okay? Because I believe 100% this is gonna be the, the quickest and the safest way to go from zero to hero, okay? From someone that makes like 40, 50, 60 grand a year to someone that makes 100, 200 grand, even 400 grand a year. If this sounds scammy to you, I can completely understand you, but these are the salaries that you will be getting as a software developer. And the easiest way to get into that tax bracket is to have someone to tell you what to do. And I'm gonna explain to you why. Look, one of the most important things is your roadmap. So that means pretty much Today you'll be working on this, then next day this, and then next day that, and ta -da 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 -da, right? If you go on Google, there are like hundreds of roadmaps. There are popular ones, less popular ones, and whatnot. The problem with these roadmaps is the fact that they are very generic, okay? So it doesn't matter like who you are, you just have to follow that roadmap and you have to like trust the fact that it's gonna work. But in reality, all the people that follow those roadmaps had to find other things in the meantime, okay? Uh, and that's gonna make you waste a lot of time. So even if you have like a roadmap that everyone like swears on, you still need to do your own research, which you should anyway, but you have to like figure out, okay, what works, what doesn't, right? Right. Now, it's not only about like the roadmap and the things that you are learning. Like for example, this is margin, this is, padding this is a variable this is a function but there is also the mental frameworks that go behind understanding certain concepts like for example i don't have an example right now my students always come to me they they do something then they are like i've read about this it doesn't make any sense why would you use uh, strings literals and then i show them an example like for example with a personalized email right you all receive an email from someone like this guy sent you a message like hey christian do you want this well how do you think they do that they use something like template literals okay and that's like probably not, not that but that's how i can explain that so i have for example analogies for pretty much every single concept or every single problem you might be facing right and this is missing from the online resources you have to go ahead and figure out those analogies so you can make the connection between the theory and the actual practice which is very important because study and worry about theory too much you won't do the practice the practice gets you going and the theory consolidates what you already know so if you work for me i don't know about other mentors but if you work with me i'm just gonna tell you to do stuff right i just enrolled a guy and uh the first thing that I do with anyone that enrolls is I ask them to bring me all the code they wrote, all the courses they've been studying and learning from, okay? And he showed me he was doing some HTML and CSS course and he was like six or seven lessons in and he was still setting up his code editor. Probably I think Code Academy is teaching you like from the very beginning how to use Git. Like why would you need that? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever considered and questioned if you need to know git from your first day as a software developer so many people are saying yes and then the status quo says yes but guess what i teach people git right when they start to build their projects why because they have a need for it so all these resources that are out there 
they are not made by people who are working with other people in the trenches they are made just to be like taught okay like someone that never been rich teaching other people how to get rich you know like those people that teach you you become rich if you uh, invest how to invest if you have no money like all those people that teach you those things if you ever read a book like that i never personally did it but all those people that teach you how to get rich with investments they got rich from other things not through investments anyway so that's the point of these courses that they are made by people and they taught their concepts and those that information in the way they thought is best but they've never actually worked with people i have only experience and created my course and my program and my mentorship based on like people why because it's it makes sense first of all like you have a problem i solve it now you have a video and now everyone will have the same problem as you i have the same video for everyone and everyone's like oh yeah it makes sense the second one it's easier for me why would i come up with a bunch of like videos and like concepts explained if nobody asked me before right so i'm a lazy guy and that made my life easier so that's the first thing the roadmap the next reason why you need a, a mentor if you want to get a programming job fast and also to become confident and also know your craft not a, not like when you go to a bootcamp pay 20 grand or whatnot and uh they just walk you through some concepts and then they are like here you go your certificate and you don't know shit and you have to go back to self talk the next thing that you need okay is feedback and support while you are going through this roadmap because you can have like the best roadmap like literally tailor made for you but there are things that you think you know and you know them wrong and then because you know them wrong you will start building a bunch of bad habits and then when you have those bad habits they start compounding same as good habits compound but they are harder to build that's the way bad habits compound as well right they compound and then you get worse and worse and worse you are trying to do more complicated things but your code is worse and worse because of your bad habits that you don't know about because in your course or programs that you are doing and if you go to a bootcamp you are taught by like bootcamp grads that couldn't get hired you are being taught all those bad things and then you cannot create complex things and if you cannot create complex things nobody's gonna hire you okay that's the next thing so it's very important like for example the way i do my stuff is i literally read every line of code that people are writing and i comment on it if i like it if i don't like it i give them extra challenges on top of something if i feel like they kind of winged it in there i just want to make sure that they've actually understood it and that's how they get better okay it's not a it's nothing like crazy it's actually super simple i just work with normal human be behavior and i just challenge them like if you think i'm bad on youtube i'm bad with them as well why because i know that tough love is the best type of love because if you have someone that tells you yes bro you're doing good you're doing good you need some of that sometimes you need some pep talk but you know sometimes i take my students on the side and i say bro here you kind of messed up you should change it and you need something like that from your mentor if your mentor is always always telling you like good 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 keep going then that's a bad mentor that's my opinion if your mentor is not pushing you to want more to do more to work more it's a wrong mentor right and that's another a reason why you need a mentor for feedback because your code is shit trust me i can guarantee you that i can guarantee you if you send me an application that is complex on my email christian at floriachristian.com i can bet twenty thousand dollars that i'm gonna find at least one mistake but probably five or ten mistakes either console logs comment without code bad indentation bad variable namings mixed cases uh functions that make no sense variables that make no sense convoluted code i can find all those and then guess what people that are going to hire you are looking at the same type of code and they are saying no this guy is a it's a junior it's not worth it they are seeing that and they don't tell you they don't give you feedback they're like they're like thanks for you're gonna get automatically rejected and i'm not saying my students are not getting automatically rejected but the chances that the, their chances are way higher than someone that is writing shitty code so i guess the point is is that you need to get so good that you reduce the amount of uh, no's okay 
that's what I'm trying to tell you. You just need to get better and only a mentor will get you better. If you if you watch all these people that say, oh, learning code from, from YouTube and free resources is doable, they're not like, it's doable. But the level that you have compared with someone that is being trained and coached and mentored by a software developer, if you get that training, you'll be way, way better. Like, it's like, you can learn basketball from YouTube videos, correct? Correct, you can learn how to play the ball and whatnot, yeah? But if you play against someone that has been trained and coached for years, you'll actually absolutely be smoked because they know how to control their breath, their pacing, everything. You've just been playing in the hood with the boys and then you're just a hood, uh, hood player and you'll never get to play for NBA. But if you wanna get to play for big companies like Amazon, Facebook, uh, Google, Twitter, and whatnot, you'll have mentors in your career. And the faster you get this mentor, the better you'll get. You'll be making more money, you'll get there faster, you'll be more skilled, more confident. And this is how you actually break it into this industry, okay? You can take what you want from this uh, video, but this is how it works. And this logic is like flawless if you think about it. Now you need to see, okay, am I choosing the right mentor, which is the right question. Because you don't want to get in with someone that is a noob, pretty much. But if you look on my website, I have dozens of results. I have even more results that are not in there because at first I didn't film all my students. I haven't made an interview to all my students. Some prefer to be, you know, uh, anonymous, they don't want to be on the internet, right? But I can guarantee you that if you watch any of those interviews, you'll see that they all had your problems, exactly all your problems. And you can decide, hey, do I want to stay with these problems, waste money, spend a lot of time, be frustrated with some bullshit, or I'm just going to work with a mentor that already seen this for himself, seen this for others, and <laughs> you are pretty much the same as everyone else. No matter what you think of thinking about, you are exactly the same as everyone else. You have the same problems I've seen hundreds of times. And guess what? I have the solution for all those problems. You just need to listen to me, do the work that I'm going to tell you to do, and you'll become successful. And I even have a guarantee for that. So if I'm telling you what to do, you do it and you don't get any results, meaning I was a dumbass coach and mentor, I'm going to give you all your money back. So if you want to get help with getting hired as a software developer to making 80 grand or more i actually have students that are making 120 thousand dollars a year from their first gig without any programming experience if you want to be making that kind of money and even more in a few years right because the sky is the limit then what you have to do is you have to apply for a free consultation code the link is in the description of this video uh just Probably just this month you can get at the current price. Next month I'm gonna double it because I've seen a bunch of people are charging at least two to four times more than I do with less results, but they have more clout. And I need to step up my game as well in terms of like money because I have the results, I have the program, I have the... Everything is uh, almost perfect, okay? Nothing is perfect, but it's almost perfect. Now I'm gonna bring more improvements. I'm gonna tweak a lot of things. I this is what I do, bro, all day. I, I think about how to help my students more. I look at them struggling, blah, 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 and then I find frameworks to solve their problems. So all I do every day is thinking how to make YouTube videos to teach you stuff, how to think better, how to understand frameworks and what or whatnot, and helping my students getting better. This is all I do. This is all I do every single day. It's boring if you are from the outside, but I wouldn't change it for anything. I wouldn't change it for anything. And because I have this dedication, that's why I can guarantee you that you'll have results if you work with me. Otherwise, you know, my voice will be like, <laughs> but I honestly believe I can help you. So if you want help with this and you want to get in a high paying career, where you'll be making six figures or more, work remotely, you know, having like good benefits, have personal time off, stocks, you can start a business, you can invest in different things, you can buy yourself a house, 
a car you can take your kids to disneyland if you have any if you don't have any kids you can take yourself to disneyland move to mexico to croatia enjoy life travel if you want all these things programming is the way okay and then if you want to get into programming fast you need to work with me guaranteed anyway the link is in the description i'll see you in the next one peace